This is Randall Root. This video is an overview of working with Exercise 2.1. In Exercise 2.1 you prepare the files and folders you're going to need throughout the book. This one should be pretty easy to do. However, there's a couple of things I'd like to point out. The first thing you need to do, of course, is download the, the book files from the APRESS website. And once they're downloaded, you need to unzip them. Now, unzipping them should create a folder called book files. And uh, the book files folder should be placed directly on C drive. It does tell you that in the instructions, of course. Now, while you might want to put them into a, a different spot, I strongly recommend you do not. I'm going to refer throughout the book to that particular location. So, really, try to resist the urge to change the name or put it in a different location. If you're <clears throat> Now, once you have it unzipped, the next thing to do will be to create another folder that we're going to use for various other solutions in the book. The, um, the folder is called underscore BI Solutions, and this is another one I really strongly recommend you not rename. To uh, make things a little bit easier, what I did was, in the exercise files of Chapter 2, you'll see there is a BI Solutions folder. The job will be to copy that folder and paste it right on C drive. And that way, I know that you're starting in the right direction. Inside that folder that you just pasted, you'll find a couple of subfolders. Chapter 2 is talking about this thing called a weather tracker project. And inside there, you'll see a few files that we're going to work with in that uh, in Chapter 2. Northwind and publication, Northwind Foods and Publication Industries are uh, used for the exercises in the book, <coughs> specifically Publication Industries is used for most of the other chapters. Northwind for some challenge exercises that we um, we kind of learned by doing. Anyway, the act of pasting that folder onto your C drive kind of sets things up for the, the following exercises. In the Weather Tracker project, you'll see I have a few files to kind of get things going. Uh, one of the things you're going to read about is the fact that um, you will often want to create a Visual Studio project to host these files. Just kind of a way of organizing your work. So I'm going to ask you in uh, this exercise to go ahead and open up Visual Studio. Make sure you run as administrator. Uh, once you're in there, you'll create a blank solution. The blank solution obviously doesn't have much in it. It just has a solution file. But the deal is, is you go through and add folders, or excuse me, files, to the solution. And now what happens is that you have a solution file that has a cross mapping to each of the individual files that uh, make up your solution. It's kind of a way of organizing your work. Another um, way of kind of organizing your work is you can make what's known as a solution folder. Solution fol folders are just a logical kind of icon that you will um, have under your little um, tree view node here where it says the name of the solution. Anyway, they don't have actually a physical representation on the hard drive, but it would be a way of logically grouping these files together. So in exercise one, I'm going to ask you to go through and add those files in, uh, make yourself a new little solution folder. Um, that way you can logically kind of group things together. And uh, that'll kind of get you started. Once you add those files in, it kind of acts weird. Solution uh, Visual Studio tries to help you out by opening up the files. Heck, some of those files um, you know, don't make a whole lot of sense uh, in the context of opening up in Visual Studio. So for example, um, the text files open up just fine, but the uh, Excel spreadsheet, the XLS file, will launch Excel and uh, in none of these cases you actually really need to have them open, so to speak, so you can just go ahead and click on the little X and close them all down. That takes care of the first exercise. And as you can see, its, it's purpose in life is just to get the files all set up and ready to go. Next thing we do is move on to the next exercise, and that will be in the next video. Thanks for listening.